Hi everyone, you want to tag along with me for a ride along today? I'm going to be multi-apping using Uber Eats, which obviously bought Postmates, and Instacart. Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for food delivery companies. And for now, that includes Uber Eats and Instacart. I am still deactivated off DoorDash, so hopefully that'll change. But in the meantime, I'm going to still get out there and make some money. So let's get right into it. It is early in the morning, about 8 o'clock, and it's in nice California, but it is a little overcast right now. I'm sure it'll burn off later. So let's get on the app with Uber. And I want to make sure that I have all my equipment ready, which I have a dash cam, which I'll put up here. I also have my Boblov N9 body cam. That comes in handy. I'll show you this footage as I drop off each order. All right, let's get started and see what kind of orders we get. I also want to mention that I do have the external battery for when I do Instacart. Whoa, $18 for 3.4 miles? Yes. I'll take that. Wow. All right, this is a good one. This is rare. Carl's Jr. So let's go. Hey, good morning. I'm Russ. I'm going to set it up here. I wanted to show you my setup. I have my first phone there, a little cheapy phone, Motorola for Uber Eats. And then I have another phone for Instacart and hopefully DoorDash one day. Dash cameras, body camera, of course water to be hydrated. All right, so that last delivery went really well. It was $13.13 and then a $5 tip, so it'll take up to an hour for that tip to come in. That was a surprising order. Usually those kind of fast food places are five, six, seven dollars not too high. I am waiting near a Denny's, so in the morning this should be popular with people that uh, are headed off to work or what have you. And we'll see what kind of orders we get. There's times where it's really busy. I got four orders in a row um, one day and then another day it's nothing. So let's see what we can get. Depending on how it goes throughout the day, I'll probably use footage from the dash cam above you and I'll intersperse video with the body camera, that Bob Law Van 9, which is pretty good. And I guess that's it. I realize that many of you may be new food delivery drivers, so I wanted to just give you some tips. Um, hopefully the ride along's not boring for you, but uh, as I've learned the hard way, I always want to document all my deliveries. So when I get an offer up on, I'm going to screenshot it. When I accept it, I'm going to screenshot the customer's information, the restaurant, the order that they have. And then after I pick up the order, I'm going to screenshot the delivery address and then screenshot any delivery details. When I get in the car, as I've mentioned in a previous video, I look at my dash camera and I'm going to read off all that information that I just talked about. That way I'll have it in case I ever need it in the future, in case I may get deactivated. I can prove um, and make it easier on myself to prove it. So please, I encourage you, watch that video. I'll link it at the end, so uh, check it out. Share in the comments below right now, how much do you think I'm going to make today? It's a Friday in Southern California. What do you think? I'm definitely not going to wait around too long. I don't like just sitting waiting for orders, but then again, it is foolish to just drive around for orders. The way that you want to supposedly drive around is have a plan. So if you know of a busy spot and the area you're in is not busy, then head there. And I like to think of it as going fishing. As I'm driving, whatever comes up is great, but have a plan. So if you're going to change locations, know where you're going to go and go there. Another idea is if you have errands to run during the day, then it makes it not so bad if it happens to be slow because you are getting your errands done as well and then intersperse that with some food deliveries. Ultimately, if you've got your errands done and it's still slow, you should probably stop. Since we're waiting for an order, 
what I like to do is wear the shirt that I'm wearing advertising my YouTube channel, and it's just a, a way of introducing myself to other drivers. Maybe they don't want to talk, and they can check out my channel because it's on my shirt. When I do happen to see people in the restaurants, I'll hand them my card, and on here it just says up front, what is remaining unaware costing you right now? And then it says for tips, go to my channel. Because I'm trying to think of a way of showing value in the content that I produce and not to be kind of scammy if there's people out in public and they're wondering why is this guy talking to me? What does he want? Does he want money? And it's, you know, no, I just want to help you. And so it's nice to meet other drivers out there. So to the many that I've met out there, um, thank you for visiting the channel and it was nice to meet you and talk with you. Well, I should have got more orders by now so I am going to strategically relocate and see what else comes up. So I'll check back with you in a little bit. Well, hello. I've relocated near another breakfast place, and I've signed into Instacart, but there are no batches, so we'll keep an eye on that. I do like when Costco opens at 10 to get those orders. And I have found, you know, whatever the offer is, it's going to roughly take an hour. So... I also try not to accept anything more than 50 items. I did an order that had 70 something items. It took me an hour and a half. The money worked out okay, but it was a lot. That grocery cart was full. So I'll try to at least get ones that are $20 so I can make $20 an hour and fewer items. And I did find that if they're smaller items, you can get a lot more done and you can make a lot more money that way. But I don't accept really anything under $20 because it's just not worth it. Oh, I did want to mention before I never took orders, um, you know, like the auto zones delivering parts. And I did one just because it was slow and it was three or four dollars. And all I did was take an oil filter down the street to a Firestone station for an oil change. It was quick. And I would say if there's no other orders out there, you can do many of those. So it's okay. Unless it's during peak meal time, then I wouldn't risk it because you might be passing up a higher paying lunch order. But if it's slow, the auto zones and auto parts stores are decent. Just how things are going now with that one order. Um, I've already put 16 miles on my car. So assuming that lady tips the $5, I'm coming close to my dollar per mile limit and it is slower i should have more orders but they will come it'll pick up as the day progresses into lunch and i was going to say one thing i like to do is bring a book to read and i forgot to bring it because i was bringing the camera with me so it's nice to read a book you know i've been watching a variety of the videos about the para app for doordash and i will say that you need to be careful of which orders you take because generally that's all you're going to get paid. If you do the math, figure you can do three orders per hour. And so if you're hoping a customer is going to tip, that's going to be your hourly pay. So before my limit was $7, and I've fluctuated as it gets slow, but I definitely don't take any 3 and $4 orders, especially if they're from fast food places. On Uber Eats, I might consider a lower one if it's like from a sushi restaurant or not a fast food restaurant because the customer may tip. But in general, I pass right over those because I know there's other orders out there that the customer tips and then I can make at least $20 an hour or more. So something to think about. I can imagine, you know, if I wasn't kicked off of DoorDash, it would have been nice to try the Para app and, and screen all those orders. But that's just not the case. But it is interesting seeing all the creators out there making the content, uh, discussing these kind of concepts about tip transparency, the customers tipping. And it's true, you know, we need the customers. Without them, we're not going to have a job. We need the food delivery companies. Otherwise, we're not going to have a job but the food delivery companies absolutely need to pay us for our time because our time is valuable. We're using our cars. You know, if you got a job at McDonald's and you just go to work from there, that's wear and tear on your body. But for these types of jobs, we are using our car to help earn money. And there are a lot of expenses that go along with that. So to get paid for our time and wear and tear on our car, is vital. Otherwise, eventually, it's just not worth doing it. 
So something to think about. Not getting any orders. Well, so far it is pretty slow. You know, I know I started a little bit after 8, but roughly it's 9 o'clock now, so that's an hour. And assuming that $5 comes in, that's $18. So it's slow right now, and I hope it picks up. I'll check back with you when I get an order. All right, bye. All right, welcome back. I have great news. I got an Instacart order for $58 from Albertsons, and it's around 50 items. The tip was $40. So I'm excited to get into Albertsons, do some shopping for Samantha. This is her 46th order, and I've never had... Well, actually, I did have a really high tip before during the pandemic from a Costco, but this is the second best. So let's get in there. Hello, mine's gonna be an Instacart order. Okay. Do you need the code? I'm not. That's cool. That's much easier on Instacart. Yeah. On uh, Uber Eats, sometimes the other is you have to do it manually. It's not as fun. Yeah, my pleasure. No, it, it got busier as I was leaving, but uh, no, it wasn't. Careful, the alcohol's in there. And then your milk. Awesome. Have a good one. See ya. All right, wow, that was a great order. And I am so grateful because it really was slow. Starting at 8, I got that one Uber Eats order for $18. And I'll have to go check and see if the tip actually came through. And then it was slow for a long time after that until I got this Instacart order. I'm glad I just grabbed it. I saw $58, whatever it was, a $40 tip. And uh, I'm so grateful because it was slow. I'm going to pull up Uber and see. Yep, that tip came through, so 18. So that's nice. And just in case, Samantha, if you're watching this, this is the customer that I just dropped off. She saw my shirt. And um, I do appreciate your business. Thank you so much for tipping so well. You have no idea how hard it is to earn money consistently doing food delivery. And to have a great customer like you makes all the difference. So thank you so much. Thank you. And just a quick recap of that order. I'll show you this video that I took using the timestamp camera app. I just quickly videoed everything on the conveyor belt, and I think I'm going to do that from now on because it can get a little tricky to take pictures, um, especially when the customer is right there uh, ready to scan the ID for the alcohol that I had bought. So I hope you enjoyed that, and let's get back on the road and see what other orders we can get. So far on Instacart, it says no batches available, and on Uber Eats, let's get back online. I have been trying Curiel, and so far I think most of the, the uh, business is in Los Angeles, and I'm to the north of LA, so I saw one order uh, a week ago, but it quickly disappeared before I could get it, and I was already doing another delivery, but I'm still going to do the Curiel app. It's kind of like Postmates where you deliver anything, and I signed up uh, using the Rideshare Professor's link. So thank you, Torsten, for that. And I hope their business grows out here because I do want to get that bonus. They give you uh, $300 if you do, I think it was like 300 deliveries. Either way, any money is great. So let's get back and see what orders we get next. One more thing, when I do Instacart or when your battery's getting low, I like using an external battery that I put in my pocket and then I have the power cable connected to my phone. So in my pocket, I can walk around the store shopping for items and always leave it connected because I think that would be scary if you're doing Instacart and your phone dies. And definitely if you're doing food delivery too, although you know we have so many charging capabilities in the car, your phone really shouldn't die doing food delivery. But on Instacart, it is a risk. All right, let's see what orders we get, and I'll give you an update soon. Bye. One other good idea is always park near a park so you can use the restroom. Using the bathroom is very important when you're out doing food deliveries. And it's brake pad. And then this works. Cool. 
cool. These are kind of fun. It's my second one. Hello, it's 11.10. So in roughly 10 minutes, I took that AutoZone order you saw, 346. I delivered brake pads and a spark plug 1.1 miles down the street to Firestone. So 10 minutes. If you did six of those in an hour at 346, that's uh, like $25. But I don't think that you could do it consistently. And the risk of doing it during peak lunchtime is you are absolutely going to miss out on a higher paying order. So I would only take those tiny little orders when it's really slow. And I also declined a jack-in-the-box order that came in for 383 And that's ridiculous. The people aren't tipping. And even if they might tip on fast food, I'm not going to take that chance during going into lunchtime. So no thank you. I still do generally stick to my minimum of $7.00. And I, I do take $6 orders, and sometimes even in the mid-fives, depending on how slow it is. But I don't do anything below that. It's just not worth it, except for these AutoZone orders. That was my second one. All right, so let's see what other orders we get. I have Uber on, and wherever my other phone is, let's see if there's any Instacart orders. No batches available. I know I could go park near Costco and get some orders for there. Um, or out here, Stater Brothers is another good store. Going to Albertsons was my first time doing Instacart there, and that was decent. I've driven a total of 27 miles. Here we go. All right. Here's a $5 order from The Habit. I'm just not going to do it. That's too low. That means someone's tipping, what, a whole dollar? Two dollars? No, thank you. Which is too bad. You know, it is true. Uh, it's not charity to uh, do food deliveries. People are paying a premium for someone else to take time out of their day to bring them their lunch. So they should reward that effort with a tip. And then, obviously, the food delivery company should be paying a high enough base pay that even without a tip, it would be worth delivering. But we know the struggle of how that goes with uh, DoorDash and Uber Eats, Grubhub, all of them. They're all about the same. And naturally, DoorDash has been getting a lot of negative attention recently uh, with hiding tips, low base pay, high mileage, you know, why am I excited to try to get back on their platform? Here's the habit again. Five dollars, 2.6 miles. And I'm going to decline it again. So that means no one else took that order too. 515, 2.6 miles. I guess the word is out. People are starting to not accept those kind of orders. Or there just happens to be no one here. But I doubt that. It's 11.15. It should be getting pretty busy now. <laughs> if it comes up a third time, do you think I should take it? Because I know after like three times on Uber Eats, um, you can't prove it, but it's like you start not getting orders. Hopefully I'll just get a different order. It's always nice when you get the sushi restaurants, Thai food, just anything but McDonald's and uh, fast food like that. Wow. All right, so I pulled up my Instacart. It finally came up. I have a balance of $94.64. $11.60 is an adjustment from last week, so that's pretty nice. That's the Prop 22 pay. And pending tips, 40 50 Batch earnings, well, obviously this is from an order last week, too. $7.91, I'll do this. Jack in the box, 3.6 miles. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get some orders. Anyway, that's kind of nice to see a pending tip of $40.
nice. I just got a $6 order to Wild Burger, and it turns out that's Buffalo Wild Wings. So I'm going to go in and get that. And then check out this screenshot if I can get it on Uber Eats. It, it is like a surge for riders. It says $8.25 for my next trip. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen that for food delivery. All right, let's go in there and get that food. And it's a Postmates order. Welcome back. It is 1.38 and that trip from Buffalo Wild Wings ended up taking longer, waiting for an order, and they brought about four orders out at the same time. I do know that they are traditionally slow, but being in California with the Prop 22 pay, you're getting paid to wait, so it's okay here in California. Otherwise, it's not worth going to Buffalo Wild Wings. You know you're going to wait a long time. Interestingly, look at this, and I'll put a screenshot up there too. Maybe it'll help you see it better. There's a surge for food delivery. I haven't seen that before on Uber. And it says I get $2.25 on my next trip. And the surge is all the way up to $4.50. But as I know from Uber Rideshare, that doesn't necessarily mean anything about chasing surge. If you uh, happen to be near the restaurant, that's, that's what you should do and worry about not chase where the uh, heat map is. Alrighty, let's see if we get any more orders. I'm going to bring up uh, Instacart again. No available batches. Let's relocate to an area where there's some restaurants. Welcome back. I ended up getting an $8.30 order from Urban Cafe or Urbane Cafe. And I'm assuming this $2.25 hopefully will be added on to it. We'll see. All right, time to go deliver these salads and then hopefully get some more orders. Thank you. Have a good week. All right, that was a smooth drop off. After I left, a young woman came out and said thank you and called to her family and they got the food. So that was a success all around. Let's see. It said 8.30 when uh, it popped up on here. So I'm going to see just how it worked for the bonus. Just says 8.30. 
and I didn't see any promotion yet in the pay. Maybe that's going to come later. See the fair. Yeah. Oh, interesting. All right, so it said base pay is 424, trip supplement 406. So I'm assuming they didn't tip. All right, we'll see you later. Let's get back on the road and earn some more money. This heat map is kind of funny. All right, well, I think you heard that. I took a Chick-fil-A order for 631. I previously declined the other one because it was only three something. So either it's the same customer adding a tip or not. It's almost three o'clock. Really, I should have stopped about an hour ago because it's been so slow. And I was actually tempted to take a $3, $4 order just to see if the customer tips or you know, just out of pure boredom, because really it's been slow enough that I should just head home and call it a day. So we'll see how this order goes, if I get any more. I plan on gassing up and then giving you a rundown of how today went. I would say with uh, not knowing how it's gonna be these next few orders, I would say generally it was a medium slow day, still marginally worth doing, but not by much. All right, let's go pick up this Chick-fil-A and get it to the customer. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Hello. I've been doing Greek for Adrena. Adrena? Yeah. No, we have it. And we're back. Thank you. My wife is paper. Yep. Have a good day. Hi everyone, I am back. It is 321 and I am deep, deep in a red surge zone. It is so intense out there. I have a 925 minimum surge on my next trip. How awesome. Check out this screenshot and I'll uh, show you what's on here. Pretty cool, 925. So as a technique, you know, does this keep me on the hamster wheel? I think so. It's like, wow. I want to be part of this this bonus. So let's see if we get an order. Or does that just, you know, obviously encourages you just stay online because nothing's been going on. I should have quit an hour and a half ago, but now they give me this surge and I want it. I want it. Who wouldn't want a 925 surge? The last time I had a surge, something like that, it was when I was doing rideshare and I was at Los Angeles airport and they would show you in that zone at the airport pickups, all the high surge. Of course, the passengers wouldn't appreciate it, but uh, interesting that they're bringing this now to food delivery. Anyway, I will see if I get an order. I'm, I'm definitely staying online until I get another order. May not be around here, but I'm leaving it on. There have been sporadic uh, Instacart orders. Nothing too exciting. You know, there's like that one right now, but it's <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, $17.55, it's a $4 tip. And driving 10 miles, no, it's not worth it. So... I do prefer food delivery just because it's easy. You go into the restaurant, grab it, and you leave. I don't mind the Instacart orders when they pay well enough, meaning over $20 an hour. And as I've learned, not a high item count. Definitely not in the 70s. That took way too long. But it is a good form of exercise. You get out of your car. You have free access to the uh, store's bathrooms, which is nice and air conditioning. You know, one thing to consider, always be drinking water in your car because here in California it's hot. And yeah, I have the air conditioning on, but you're still kind of like being slow cooked in a uh, crock pot. So it's good to drink water. 
And with that, I think I'm going to keep moving. I was kind of hoping there is a Mexican restaurant right here. I was hoping I would get an order, but that is not the case. So I'm going to move out of the deep red zone here in this surge. Oh, wow. I see a $14 surge, but I, uh, I don't chase surge. It's kind of far away. All right, well, well, let's see what kind of order we get, and I'll check back with you in a little bit. And we'll be wrapping it up soon, because it's, uh, it's already about the end of the day for me. Bye. Welcome back. It is 5.20 and it's the end of the day. I ended up getting another order for Uber Eats after I got gas from Jamba Juice. So I ran over there. It was a $4 order and then I completed it. And I was on the phone calling Uber saying, hey, where's my money? When all of a sudden on Instacart, I got a $44 offer um, from Vons and it was only like 20 items. So I just finished that. It was a $30 tip. That is awesome. That turned today into a medium, medium sized day. Before that, it was kind of getting really slow and I should have quit hours ago. And then I was joy riding around um, trying to get some good footage um, for the thumbnail, but it ended up working out, but it's not because I planned it that way. So I recommend don't do what I did today. If you can detect that it's not busy, then once you've finished your uh, errands or anything that you had to do that day, just stop. You can tell when it's really busy for new uh, delivery drivers, you'll get back-to-back -back orders constantly. You'll be so busy, you won't even really have time to use the bathroom. Medium busy would be, you're gonna get an order every few minutes and you will be busy all day. When it's slow, there could be 40 minutes that goes by, an hour. When that kind of stuff goes on, just stop because it's probably not gonna get better except for today, and that was random, so I'm very grateful. Overall, I made about $90 on Instacart, and right now, 63. So I'm just doing public math. I figure, like, what's that? $150, <laughs> and then, of course, the missing money from Uber, the $12, $12 surge. I'm gonna call them on that later. Overall, it was a good day. I only spent $20 in gas, and again, that's including all the joyriding that I did, an extra probably 30 miles. And subtract an hour when I was offline. I think I started at eight. I'll have to go back and do the math. Um, yeah, so eight hours, $150, that's pretty decent. I like when I get $20 an hour, and it's only because this last order. All right, well, I've taken up enough of your time. I hope you enjoyed this ride along today. And please let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, until I see you in my next video, stay safe out there and take care. Bye.